Hello everybody, welcome to your channel Echo Engineering. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can be profitable even with a simple strategy like moving average crossover. If you use complete optimization module in a strategy tester of MetaTrader 5 and backtest your strategy for thousands combinations of your inputs and then use the best one to maximize your profit. But first of all, please, uh, the main focus of our channel has always been and will always be on algorithmic trading and programming with MQL5, MQL4, Python, and C++. If you are not familiar with that, I leave you the link I, to the video of Crash Course and Introduction to uh, Algorithmic Trading at the top of this video. Do not forget to look at it and learn it because I believe no one can be constantly profitable without using algorithmic trading and learn how to backtest his or her strategy in the past. It's very important. I hope you like this video and stay with me to the end. And if this is your first time watching our channel, please click on the subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button. So whenever we upload new video, you will receive a notification and you can watch it as soon as possible. Stay with me. Uh, so as you may know, this strategy is very simple. It has three moving averages. The first one, which I draw it by red is is called moving average fast and uh, moving average fast and its period is 14 and it can be exponential moving average. The second one which I draw it by uh, blue it is called moving average slow and it is a little behind the red one. We call it moving average slow and uh, its period is 21 and I prefer it to be simple moving average and the last one which is moving average ref moving average reference uh, I draw it by green it's just a reference uh, and it's a moving average and its period is for example 100 and it's very slow actually how does the strategy work when we are when we are above the moving average reference we are allowed only to buy to open a buy order and when we are below it we only allowed to open a sell order this is the this is the initial condition this is the, uh, what allow us allows us to do but when we are above the moving average reference then and the moving average fast the red one cross the moving average uh, slow which is the blue one here in this point we open a buy order open buy and when we cross uh, cross back again and the red one cross the moving average slow to the downside we close the open order close it we close it this is how we can do it and vice versa when we are uh, here we are in the cell area which would be below the moving average friends when the red one cross the blue one to the downside, we open a sell order, and when it crosses it back to the above side, then we close the order. This is how the strategy works, but as you may notice again, why we want to use 21 here for the moving average slow, or why we are using moving average 14, why we are not using moving average 15, or why as a reference, we are using moving average 100. They are all important questions, and we are using optimization, uh, complete optimization module to find out the best combinations of this variable. The best, uh, maybe moving, if moving average uh, slow is 15 and moving average fast is 4, we would have better uh, performance. So we check all of them together. Uh, here, if I open in the tool, I open MetaQuote language editor. This is the code that we have here. In the next video, I will explain it completely to you. But now we only backtest it with this uh, complete optimization. Uh, if you don't have this uh, strategy tester, you can just see it from view by clicking on a strategy tester. Now we click on complete optimization module of this strategy tester. And here we choose uh, the expert advisor that we want. Here it is moving average strategy which I give you uh, the link and the code in the next video. 
and uh, your, I want to test it on your UST in the one hour time frame. Although this time frame is not uh, the time frame that the calculation is based on, but it is changing. I will show you. Uh, the date is uh, between these two dates, and the initial value is 100,000. And I want to maximize my balance by using this optimization. Then I go to the input section. In the input section, I can choose uh, which of these variables I want to check their combinations. Uh, I want to check all of them actually. And I start with the moving average uh, fast period. I want moving average fast period be from 4 and uh, to 21 by the step of 5. What does it mean? It check it for it check the whole strategy for moving average four. Then it check it for nine because it plus it by five, uh, add it by five, and then it check it by fourteen and until twenty one. It would be four different steps for only this moving average fast period. For moving average slow period, I want to start from twenty one and again the steps I prefer to be five, and. And uh, then I wanted to continue it to, for example, 41. It would be five steps. I don't want this back test take a lot of my time. That's why I choose the big interval. So uh, the steps would decrease, but you can increase it, increase them by just, uh, just decrease these steps. And for moving average reference, the period I want to start from 40 to 100 and the step I prefer I prefer to be for example uh, anything like for example nine <laughs> it would be seven uh, steps then the time frame I think from 30 minutes to one week it's good it would be the 1400 combinations we try to check them all if I press start it tries to check all the combinations of this variable for this strategy in the given time period I press start then it may take a while, but then I can see the results of the backtest here in the different dots. Uh, okay, it has started. Each of these dots actually are one backtest, and we can see the results. Uh, for example, this one is uh, is green one. It is profitable. Uh, we started with one hundred thousand dollar, but now it's one hundred four thousand dollar, a little more. And if I go to optimization result, I can see all of them here and I can even sort them by their results. I just leave it like that. I fast forward the video. I will be back to you whenever the backtest is completely over for all of these combinations. So the optimization result is over for all combinations. It may take a lot of time. It depends on on the power of your CPU but this is the results the result is here you can sort them by just clicking on the result and we can see that the most profitable combinations uh, was by in profit by 50.3 uh, percent and uh, to gain this profit the moving average period should, uh, for the fast moving average should be 4 moving average slow period should be 36 moving average difference period should be 80 and this back test should be applied to four hour time frame. So uh, in the overview section, we click on single because we want to back test it for the most profitable combination. Then in the imp, we go back to the input because we choose a single and not complete optimization. In this case, in the input section, only the value column is active and the start, stop, uh, step and stop columns are deactive uh, the value for moving average fast uh, period was 4 moving average slow period was uh, 36 moving average reference period was 80 and time frame was 4 hour time frame i checked them again for 36 80 and 4 hour time frame now in the setting section we just active this visual mode to see the back test and click on the start to see the back test for the most profitable combination. I fast forward the video and I come back when it is finished. So the back test is over. 
I go and look at the graph. This is the graph how the uh, balance is changing. You, as you can see, the balance is fluctuating a lot. It means the sharp ratio uh, decreases and we are deviating a lot from our uh, mean profit. It's not suitable for us. We want to be as close as to the mean profit. If you're not uh, familiar with sharp ratio and standard deviation, I highly suggest and recommend you to search about it and learn it. Uh, and in the, as you can see here, the drawdown is a lot. As if, when the drawdown increases, actually the sharp ratio decreases and it's not uh, suitable. We don't want uh, the low sharp ratio because it means we are deviating from uh, we the, the 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 strategy is not very reliable uh, and we can see the result of the backtest here too uh, i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to watch the programming video too because it's very important the main focus as i mentioned is only always on uh, algorithmic trading and teaching it do not forget to hit the like button if you like it because it will help us to be introduced to those other who are interested in these subjects too. Have a good day. Goodbye.